Good morning. Five years ago, I stood here and asked you to keep Hampshire's children's centres open. I'm standing here today to ask the same again. This time, I'm asking on behalf of all families and future families across Hampshire. My key recommendations are that the number of children's centres should not be reduced from 54 to 11. If possible, the number should be increased by finding more creative ways of using existing buildings in local communities. I recommend that existing trained staff who have built up trusting relationships with local families do not lose their jobs so that these relationships of trust are maintained. I believe that every child born in Hampshire should be automatically issued with a library number and a children's centre number in the same way we issue NHS numbers. It would be optional to access these support systems. I recommend that families in Hampshire contribute on a pay-what-you-can-afford basis, perhaps 50p per session. In times of austerity, we are willing to contribute if absolutely necessary. We are not willing to pay or able to pay £9 per session, as suggested in the proposal. I would love Hampshire to become the leading county in England for children's centre provision, destigmatising the process of learning how to be the best parent possible to be the county which makes it okay to say, I'd like to learn how to be a better parent. I recommend that any consultation on the future of children's services should be directly communicated to families in Hampshire, perhaps by post or email. I recommend that a free app should be developed to signpost Hampshire's families to the service that will best help them with their problem. This will support the signposting which already happens in children's centres. Most importantly, I believe the safeguarding of children and families in Hampshire should be Hampshire County Council's top priority. Money should always be found. By cutting back on non-essential expenses, using extra funding from central government, or by using any available reserves. The charity for children conducted a survey of children's centre users in 2015. 83% of parents said that attending a children's centre had a positive impact on their confidence and skills as a parent. 91% felt that attending a children's centre had a positive impact on their child. Hampshire's children's centres need to be local and universally accessed. I feel very strongly that the plan for district hubs for those most in need will not be effective in supporting all families in Hampshire. Any family can have a need and can quickly move between differing levels of need. Trust takes years to build. Trust between your highly trained expert staff and the families of Hampshire. Not every family has a car or can access a bus. With local children's centres in each community, it makes accessing services and support easier. Imagine trying to travel for a two-hour round trip. I'll get emotional, sorry. <laughs> Imagine trying to travel for a two-hour round trip on a bus just, just take your time <laughs> sorry <laughs> no, that's alright take your time with a one year old and a baby whilst breastfeeding and suffering from postnatal depression that's what I would have had to do if these plans had been realised in 2010 it doesn't make any sense the original intention of Sure Start was to transform the life chances of every child. I feel this is a lifelong programme to help change aspirations in all families. When families, whatever those families look like, are supported and happy, then communities thrive. When communities thrive, then our county will thrive. Invest in early intervention, please. You will save money, save lives, and help families to build a stable and secure future where they aspire to be the best version of themselves and to raise their children to the best of their ability. This vision is supported by the UN rights of the child. Hampshire's children's centres are a success. In the last year, over 4,600 parents across Hampshire attended evidence-based parenting programmes such as PEEP, Triple P or Incredible Years. Over 1,000 parents across Hampshire have been supported into work, education, training or volunteering by their local children's centre. 514 parents attended evidence-based healthy lifestyle programmes such as Cook and Eat and Henry. 
the Children's Centres have actively promoted the two-year-old offer and by autumn term 2015, 78% of eligible children were taking up the free entitlement in good or outstanding settings. The area of highest deprivation in the cluster, Holbury and North Blackfield, there is an 84% take-up rate. 100% of children on child protection plans are known to Children's Centre through routine notification by social care team. The National Audit Office states that it costs £33,000 to put a child into foster care and £135,000 to put a child into residential care. So if 258 Hampshire children were taken into foster care or 63 Hampshire children were taken into residential care, the whole of the proposed £8.5 million saved by closing the local centres would be wiped out. The Department for Education states that the number of looked after children has increased steadily over the past seven years. Surely Hampshire can be a leader in preventing this from happening to our children. Let's work with families from the start to improve these outcomes. The Children's Centre statutory guidance published by the Department for Education in October 2010 clearly states that children's centres play a crucial, crucial role in early intervention, ensuring families can get help when they need it, tackling issues early and helping to prevent costly problems from emerging later on. In addition, the Department for Education has an excellent report from December 2015 looking into the impact of children's centres. I'm going to skip that bit because I'm running a bit short of time. Hampshire County Council says that in these times of austerity, resources must be focused on the most needy families. I would like you to consider how you measure need. Who is more deserving? The parent who needs support for mental or physical illness? The parent who needs support for coping with domestic violence? The parent who needs support for themselves and their child with additional needs? The single parent who has lost their partner to cancer? The isolated mother in a rural location living alone with twins and no transport? Any family needing support with a difficult job of parenting? Need is not determined by financial status. All families need children's centres. They need universally accessible, stigma-free local support. They need to be in every community. I have received cross-party support for this aim. As I speak to you, families from across Hampshire are gathering outside to make their voice heard. I am asking you to listen to these families, please. We have worked extremely hard to publicise the consultation documents I know you have had many responses from both families and professionals across Hampshire. Everyone I have spoken to has echoed the importance of early intervention to save money and save lives in Hampshire. The impact of taking away local children's centres will be huge. The knock-on effect to other frontline services, such as social workers, the NHS midwives, health visitors, doctors, nurses, breastfeeding support, mental health services, the police, mudding and paramedics, the fire service, <laughs> and schools will be too much to cope with. More strain will be placed onto these already overstretched frontline services, costing more and risking lives. I've written to Her Majesty the Queen to ask for her support in saving our children's centres. I received a response from Mr Mike Shaughnessy of the Department for Communities and Local Government. Mr Shaughnessy advised me that Hampshire County Council have to play their part in tackling the deficit while protecting local services. He further advised me that local people now have more power to hold councils to account over local spending decisions through the reissued local government transparency code. New financial freedoms allow local authorities the flexibility to make spending decisions in line with local priorities. I am sure that through the research, consultation responses and petitions, you must hear that it is a local priority to have community-based stigma-free children's centres as part of your portfolio. The relationships with trusted staff in known buildings are a key concern for Hampshire's families. Please don't just see buildings as financial assets and jobs as numbers. Children's centres are about relationships between families and staff. Those relationships take place within buildings. Those buildings are like homes. Children love them and they are not just financial assets. This argument should be way above party politics. This is about the safeguarding of children and the future of our county for generations to come. Our petitions against the proposed plans for Hampshire Children's Services online and on paper have gained over 10,000 signatures. We worked very hard to gather those signatures. Please do not discount them. I make a promise to you that every year you try to close Hampshire's local children's centres, I will come back and I will campaign more loudly and more effectively locally, nationally and internationally. 
I promise to do that for the rest of my life. <laughs> Hampshire County Council's Children's Centre, the patch, saved my life. I will always fight to save the centres, you have my word. So please save Hampshire's Children's Centres, invest in them and keep them safe forever. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, well done.